What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. This is episode number three of my Resar vlog and today's video is gonna be called, Should I Buy It or Leave It? So a lot of people ask, can you make a bolo list of what to buy, what not to buy? Now I can, I'm going to next week, but there's a really important caveat, which is number one on my reason of whether you should leave it there or buy it is availability. So if I give you guys the greatest list in the world, but you can't find the items, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna give you guys the criteria, the 10 criteria that I use to determine whether or not to buy something or leave it there. And then when I make the list next week, you can use this same criteria in your brain to determine if it's worth your time to pick it up or not. So let's get straight into it. Please smash the like button, consider subscribing. We'll go over the list now. All right, guys, number one is availability. So even if I give you the best things to buy, but you can't find them, it doesn't matter. So in our group, patreon.com slash the resource podcast, we do this zip code call where you can figure out in your area what items are the most abundant. That's a really useful tool in our group, but it's really important if you can actually find the item. So next week, when I give you guys my list, it's gonna skew towards what I can find. So you're gonna have to make your own list using the same criteria. And again, lean towards things where I call it an unfair advantage in your area. There's just plenty of that type of item. Number two is market demand. How many of these actually sold? So if you go on the eBay, the top three categories are home goods. So stuff for around the house, electronics. And then third is clothing. This is the number of things actually sold. So it has a very, very high market demand. That's good. However, you need to take into consideration number three, which is market supply, which is how many available. So even though those three categories have the highest demand, they also have the most supply. So there's the most available, which means that category is very, very competitive, which means usually the people who do well have the most experience, have the largest economy of uh, scale. So they have a huge operation selling lots of them that's how they're able to offer it at a low price and still make a deal. So you have to be careful. Just because it has high demand doesn't mean it's necessarily good. And just because there's low market supply, so there's not very many of them, doesn't mean that your item is gonna sell. So you always hear it's just supply and demand. Yes, but it's also complicated because you've gotta find the right mix between things that people want, can you actually find them, and are there too many people selling it so that you're not able to make enough profit, which is number four. So there's two ways to approach profit. Either total profit per item. So let's say you make $10,000 on a rare Hermes Birkin bag. That's a, a huge amount of total profit in dollars. But let's say it costs you $150,000 to acquire that bag. Then that's only a 6% profit, right? So that's a low margin but a large total profit in dollars. The opposite would be, let's say you buy something for one penny or you get it for free, let's just say one penny, and you sell it for a dollar plus shipping and fees, you're talking like thousands of percent margin, but at the end of the day, you only made one dollar. If you got it for free, and let's say you sold it for two, a dollar in fees, you, you've made 1,000 times your original um, investment of a penny or 10,000% but you still only have $1. So you've got to manage the difference between profit percentage and total profit in dollars. So the best is actually to do a little bit of both. So as an example, if you buy something for $10, sell it for 30 plus shipping, you have a pretty good profit margin of over 100% and a pretty good amount of money, like $10 for your time. And I'm gonna go over why that's kind of worth it in just a moment. So number five is processing time. So if you're an expert in your item, it should take no longer than 10 minutes to do all the processing for the item. That's the minimum standard that we have in our group. That's photographing it, listing it, researching it, storing it, picking it after it sells, shipping it, and doing the customer service for the item. If it takes longer than that, that's perfectly fine, but that means that you're not an expert in that specific item. If you were an expert, all this stuff would be really fast because you don't need to do the research. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. When I say niche down and sell more narrow, like not everything, it makes the processing time shorter, which increases your hourly rate. If you make $10 per item and you can do six an hour, everything included, 
at $60 an hour. And that's why I say you should narrow down. I have no issue with an everything seller. It's just slower to sell everything than just one thing over and over again. Imagine how easy it would be to sell the exact same thing you just sold. You already know everything about it and what it sells for. So processing time is really big. And I think about it before I pick something up. And that's why I no longer pick up bikes because I don't, I don't care how much profit it is because the processing time is way too long. Next, risk. I think a lot of people don't think about this. They don't think about items potentially being fake. They don't buy, uh, they buy items that might have a high return rate and items that might have a high fraud risk. So if you sell $1,000 Christian Dior sneakers, PlayStation 5s, really hot items, there's a chance that somebody might send you a brick back and claim they got the wrong item. It's very possible, but if you sell used clothing like me, it's very unlikely that they send you back a fake used pair of jeans. It's happened before actually, but the fraud rate is extremely low. So you have to think about the risk of buying the item. This is why I avoid brands like Chanel. Even companies like The Real Real have been sued and lost for selling items that they claim to be authentic because the only person that can claim authenticity is the actual brand. They're the only ones that can legit, legit check something. There are services, but even if you get something authenticated, you can still be at risk of a Vero, the brand getting mad at you for selling that item, or like the person getting it, it might be legit and they might say it's fake. So be very, very careful when you're buying items. I personally avoid high risk items. Number seven, the time to sell the item. This is really important. So. How long is it going to take you to actually sell the item? Is it an item that you post and it will immediately sell? Um, or is it going to take a year or two years and you have to factor in, is it worth your time, space and mental real estate to keep this item for a long time? That's why I recommend in the beginning, you have a really small store of things that sell really, really quickly. Because if you don't do it that way, you're going to end up having a, a huge store of home runs and all those listing fees and storage fees that you're paying over the course of the year, most of those items that last for over a year may actually lose you money because some of them don't sell and the other ones took so long to sell that the fees ended up costing you more than the actual profit. Number eight, the time to acquire. In our group, we have people like Jack who buy all of their items online. They don't do any driving. I live in the Bay Area, traffic is horrible. I try to avoid driving. I'm buying lots, I'm buying relationships with people so that I can get large amounts at the same time, which takes years to do, so I can reduce the time to acquire each item. So if you have to go to a different state on a plane, it takes a long time to do that to acquire the item. I saw somebody take a flight to pick up an item that was $2,000 profit, and I was just thinking, you wasted a couple of days getting this item to make a couple of grand, and the item ended up getting returned and it was new when the person got it and when they got it back, it was used. So they went through a lot of this hassle and the time to acquire was way too high and that's very scary. I like to find things that are easy to find locally. Next is the cost of the item and your budget. It's raining like crazy right now, guys. So the cost of the item versus your budget. So if you have money, it's easier to make more money because you can spend $100 to make $20 and even though the profit margin is lower, you're, you have that ability because you have a larger budget. So you have to determine how much money do you have and the cost of the item. If your budget is small, I recommend doing places like the Goodwill Bins, garage sales, flea markets. Get stuff really cheap so that you can reduce the cost of the item. Cost of goods is really important. And as you get more experience, you're going to be more comfortable increasing the cost of goods. But there's also a dark side of this where if you buy stuff that's free or really, really cheap, just because it's cheap and you ignore all this other stuff, you're in big trouble. So again, the number one problem with resellers is they take one of these and assume the item is awesome. But you need to account for everything before you buy something to really make an educated decision. Unfortunately, for some reason in today's society, people hear one thing and they just go by that. They have no ability to do any kind of nuance or thinking on their own. They just hear one thing. You said if you buy stuff that's really high in demand, you'll be fine. I did not say that. I said you have to do everything to really determine if it's a good buy or not. Okay, finally is bundling potential. This is really important. This is like when McDonald's asks, do you want fries with that? 
It doesn't cost them additional in shipping to ship the item to you. I make a lot of my money because my order size is close to two. So people are buying more than one item and it is essentially is not changing the shipping cost and the processing fees that much for me, but I'm getting a much higher profit margin on the second item. This is why companies like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, TJ Maxx can afford selling items for one to eight dollars because people are buying 10, 20, 30 things at the same time. But when all averages out, it's probably to be honest about two things. Person goes into the dollar store, they're probably leaving with at least two things. So that bundling potential is something a lot of people don't think about. They buy stuff that's just one time and I'm buying stuff that I can buy all the time over and over again so I have the greatest bundling potential. So on average per day, um, each show that I do, I sell about 60 items. It's about 30 orders. So that means each person is buying about two and that's because I focus heavily on bundling potential. So before you buy a kayak, that's not gonna bundle very well with anything else because a person buying a, a kayak, I guess might be buying paddles, but if you are an outdoor store, great. Sell the vest, sell the paddle, sell the kayak, sell the clothing for outdoor gear, sell waterproof jackets and parkas. But if you're just a normal person, maybe don't pick up that kayak that's $20 at a garage sale because it doesn't meet all of these criteria. So I'm pretty excited. So today's video, we're gonna go over like we usually do, what to buy, what I sold, how much it sold for, and the total throughout the year because I wanna keep track this year of how much money I'm making with my staff and by myself to help you guys compare. And I wanna remind you guys every single episode, it's not easier with staff than by yourself. If you're by yourself using this decision matrix, every time you buy something, you will be very, very safe, which is the name of the game. You're gonna be buying something for let's say $5 that you can sell for 30 or more that's not risky, it's easy to process, it has a high margin, lots of people want it, there's not that many available, you can find it in your area, it's gonna sell quickly, you just drove down the street to get it, the cost of the item is only five bucks, and it's so easy to find that you're gonna find more like it and you increase your bundling potential. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. This video is timestamped, so you can skip to the section that you want. I know a lot of people are looking for different types of things, let me know in the comment section below if you like the tips, if you like what I bought, if you like what it's sold for, if you like the total, if you like the mindset stuff, let me know. Let's see you in the video. All right, guys, we're gonna go over what I found this week at the Flea. Um, so Madewell, as you guys know, uh, Disney, you'll see Trojans. Um, I love finding brand new t-shirts. T-shirts are the only category that are not seasonal. Prana, as you guys know. Men's, for me, typically sells better than women's. L.L. Bean, this is a fleece-lined vest. L.L. Bean, champion sweater. I like this pattern a lot. Uh, J. Crew, essential chino. I thought this is a cool flag pattern. Levi's. Whoa, Orvis. This I've never heard of. Viking Tempest. But I pretty much pick up all outerwear, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, Levi's cargo pants. I, I'm picking up most Hawaiian shirts at this point. Um, this brand is Hilo. Hilo Hattier. Santa Cruz sweater. The Madewell utility jacket. This is a nice piece, size small. Brand new Scandia Woods. So new stuff I will pick up if it's a couple of bucks. San Francisco 49ers jersey. Tommy Hilfiger, just a nice waterproof jacket. Patagonia, better sweater. Or actually, I'm sorry, this is a Cinchilla uh, vintage vest, size large, nice piece. Lululemon, Lululemon, Under Armour. I don't know PLA, maybe you guys know that. This is on a champion tag. Levi's, I usually buy the 357 series. Lululemon, Patagonia. Button up, size large, Under Armour, Madewell, Madewell, double Madewell. So Madewell is one of the brands that some of my pickers buy all of. Lululemon. So as an example, the Madewell top, right? This is obviously not worth that much, but the Madewell jacket worth a lot more. So just so that my buyers can make enough money buying things, you just gotta pick up enough of it that they can make a living. 
So Lulu, the stuff where the logo is bigger generally sells better. It should be also be on the hood. It's not on the hood, but sometimes there's a nice pattern on the hood as well. This is Adidas, Madewell. Um, this is another Disney Halloween party. This is a heavy parka. Lucky brand, size small. Really nice piece. I like the fur lined. This looks like Levi's. Levi's again. This heavy coat is Basic House. Not familiar with it, but it's pretty nice. Very puffy, very warm. Um, this is Go Light. Don't know if this is good. I'm assuming it's just average. This leather jacket is Timberland. It's nice to match your Tims. So US Polo Association, obviously not that valuable, um, but this is just a nice hooded jacket and it's insulated with fleece on the inside. So I picked it up anyway. This will probably still sell for at least $10. Extra, extra large. This might even sell for $15 just because, you know, this jacket, even though it's not a very good brand, still $100 new for this jacket. Joe Fresh. Um, I bought a bunch of motorcycle jackets. Um, so I'll be looking up each one as I, as I go through it. North Face. Uh, Levi's denim jacket. We always check this E to see if it's capitalized. Someone just sold one for $4,000. A big E top five. Lululemon. This is a nice Adidas windbreaker. And that concludes rack number one. Pretty much all 49ers and Oakland gear. So I got a couple of Giants blankets. Another motorcycle jacket, super heavy. Another motorcycle jacket. This is Alpine All-Stars. Dianese. So I don't know that, but this is a really, really nice jacket. The padding is so thick in these, I imagine they must keep you relatively safe. Eddie Bauer. These are Levi's. Little baby Patagonia. Too big for my daughter, but very cute. Von Dutch. Coming back in style because of the Netflix. Got a couple of Von Dutch. This t-shirt, but that's a nice graphic on the back. Very cool. And a, a nice Von Dutch t-shirt here. Great graphic. Double-sided. Uh, 49ers soft shell. It's got a little detail down here. 49ers. Um, it's a nice puffer jacket from the North Face. 2XL. Little Mickey Mouse sweater. Nice piece. Um, this brand, don't know anything, want do. I just thought that was cool. And the jacket's new. So new with tags, I generally will pick up. 511 Tactical, um, nice outdoor brand. This is a brand new button down, long sleeve, flannel. Made well, Lulu, Levi's. Um, Seasono, again, another brand that I wouldn't normally pick up, but depending on the price, I will pick up pretty much all outerwear because somebody needs a jacket. Um, Marmot Puffer, there's a budget for everyone. This is made out of down, 800 fill. This is super warm. Hollister hoodie. Lululemon, Cleveland Indians. This is a nice piece. With Hoffner as the player. A Madewell flannel, Madewell. Uh, pretty funny Garfield shirt. Golden State Warriors. Fashion Nova, which obviously is an evil brand, but this is a really nice um, overcoat that somebody will buy. Converse puffer jacket. This Levi's jacket's pretty dope, but the studs, really nice piece. Lulu, or Ideology, wow, they kind of copied Lululemon's tag. Ideology brand new jacket. Carhartt. Banana Republic coat. Lululemon, Puma. Lululemon again, champion. This is a Uniqlo puffer jacket. I pick up all of these. They also um, collapse into the hood or the pocket. So you can just, they're very transportable. And this is more Madewell. All right, rack number three. This is the Orvis um, really thick sweater that's fleece lined. Um, this is North Face. 
This is a made, I believe made well, made well hoodie. Um, Columbia fleece. This is a Michigan North Face, or Champion, sorry. Kind of a vintage Gap jacket with the houndstooth interior. That's really cool actually. Nice chore jacket. Look at the buttons on these. That's awesome. That's vintage. That's a nice piece. Um, Chicago Bulls sweater. It's nice. Champion. Patagucci. Nike. Marmot. That's funny. It's a 23andMe back office. That's the company that um, does your genealogy. Marmot. Um, Puma. I actually don't know what TBT is. Madewell. Golden State Warriors. This brand is Top Man. Top Shop. They mainly make women's, but Adidas. This is a class. This is so easy to sell. I wish I had all these sweaters. Look at this worldwide graphic on the back of this sweater. Pretty cool. Hollister. North Face. I don't know what this graphic is, but it's funny. It says worldwide also. Um, this is North Face. Hollister, California. North Face. Madewell. Button front jeans. REI Coupe. Um, Good Rider is an equestrian brand. I got a couple of those pieces today. Never heard of it. Another Good Rider brand. Here's their logo in another setting. 49ers, made well. North Face, REI, Ohio State. This is uh, Adidas, this is cute. The heart, Velour, Nike. All Nike sells really well, it's so easy to sell. Uh, another Good Rider jacket, it's a third piece that we found. So obviously when you thrift, you might find a bunch of stuff from the same person. This is, uh, Burberry, so that's legit. Burberry Brit. Maybe watch out on eBay. This is a Levi's jacket. So this jacket was a Hard Rock Cafe jacket, but they ended up sewing over their own pattern. This is O'Neill, the surfing brand, snowboarding brand, outdoor brand. Patagonia, it's a cute jacket. Girls five to six, made well. This is a fuzzy fleece from uh, Patagonia. North Face. Carhartt. L.L. Bean. Barbour, this is a really fancy brand. Um, this should do really well. North Face. Blue Lemon with the scuba, made well. Star Wars pants, here we go. Nice. Star Wars and Adidas collaboration, USA Olympics. Puma Red Bull Racing, this is, this is good because this is Formula One racing. That's a nice piece. North Face Fleece, Champion. North Face, Puma, SF Giants. Another Giants big blanket. Uh, this looks like Madewell. Madewell sweater. We actually, I think we had that sweater earlier too. Two of the same sweater. Madewell, LL Bean, Nike. These are Madewell overalls. Patagonia. Madewell, or Mother. Some great Mother Superior jeans. Madewell. Alfani. Again, a brand I do not pick up from Macy's except for outerwear. Beta brand, as you guys know. Old school Fila, size large. I love the old school Fila because it has the um, metal tags. Patagonia, Champion. More Beta brand. And the last piece is Jane Barn. This is a suede jacket. All right, that's it for today. 
185 items. We're gonna go quick. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go sudden death most likely today. We're gonna go fast, guys. Nike thermal half zip jacket, guys. This is youth large. It's pink. Super cute. So after that, every single item for Kim will ship for free, up to five pounds, if that makes sense. So it's a new system. All right, guys. Um, I'm not gonna do any requests or show anything because we're going fast today. San Francisco 49ers hoodie, size extra large. Katrina, nice pickup. North Face pullover, men's size medium, excellent condition. Michiana, <clears throat> champion, crew neck, sweatshirt size medium with the spell out print on the front. What's up, my Lily? You started doing 10 listings a day. Of course it matters what you put into your store. North Face pullover hoodie, size medium. This is a really nice graphic. Manny Fresh, appreciate you. Your first purchase from us. Next is the Thrasher Magazine pullover hoodie, size small. Michiana, thank you so much. Pretty good. So this these jackets sell for between, they're like 60 to 100 bucks new. Great size, men's extra large. Manny Fresh, nice pickup. Adidas, here we go. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta work with what you have. Manny Fresh, thank you. So North Face Zip Up Windbreaker, size large. Manny, <clears throat> nice pickup. Manny getting a whole new wardrobe. So this is very cute. This is made well. Tisket, thank you. This is a pink Victoria's Secret hoodie, gray, cute hoodie. Nice pickup, Zion. This is a really nice North Face. Zion, appreciate your business. New attack, Victoria's Secret. Sweatshirt, crew neck. Zion, three in a row. <clears throat> Adidas Originals Jacket Youth Large. This one is in excellent condition. The thrifted stuff that I find, you like the brand new stuff, you like both. Really, really good condition. 42, 44 um, chest, which is a size large. Really nice Giants piece. The Prana is great, yes. I just bought some more. Champion crew neck, size extra large. I agree. Champion is underrated. Manny Fresh, nice pickup. So apparently this is a video game. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So I'm gonna start at a buck. Zion, nice pickup. Lululemon is up next. This is a camo yoga short. SoCal Can DC. Nice pickup. You're gonna love these shorts. They're in really good condition. Lulu leggings, let's go. Angela, nice pickup. So Lululemon short size extra small. Tisket, that's a steal. Men's running short size medium. Sometimes it's been washed to death, but this is good stuff. Crazy, nice pickup. This is Champion. I don't know the logo. SoCal, thank you. Next is Orvis, this is a nice quarter zip. Tisket, nice pickup. All right, this is a Columbia jacket with the Omni Heat. Zion 23, thank you. Next is Madewell. That is a really good deal, DB. Madewell shorts for cheaper than Goodwill. SF Soccer, let's go. I know, right? You can bid your max in the custom bid so you don't accidentally overbid. Michiana, nice. Okay, guys, this is a really, really cool jacket. It's 4XL, it's super heavy duty. It's a union line jacket, the Laborers Local 389. So this is a heavy, heavy work jacket. Jazz, nice pickup. This is a Coors jacket. I mean, it's pretty awesome. The Lucky Fox, appreciate you. You're really gonna appreciate this. It's literally on the Coors tag. Madewell, distressed jeans, let's go. Yep, yep. Tisket, thank you. So this is Nike SB size large. This is actually a super dope sweatshirt that if I skateboarded, I would actually wear this. It's pretty sick. Asky Lee, thank you. Madewell, size medium. We got to the hospital at like 9.30 and we had the baby at 4.30. I think that's pretty fast. I don't know though. Athleta zip up jacket, size small. Liliana, nice pickup. Columbia, size medium. I wonder if the second baby is easier. Those of you that have two kids and are female, what do you think? Craftsman overalls, these are sick. 50 by 30 guys. Labor, the labor part, not taking care of them. Angela, nice pickup. This is a bigger size of Madewell size 31, so real woman size. I didn't do anything the first time, so I'm assuming the second time will be much the same. Madewell high rise skinny size 26 dark wash. This is pretty rare, actually. Almost all Madewell I find is lighter medium wash. These are dark. Dark wash size 26. You have five kids? Good lord. Good job. This is a really, really nice LL Bean puffer jacket. It's a really nice puffer. Nice, Angela. Kirkland rain pants. How many of you are sellers on, on uh, whatnot? Can you guys give me a hand raise? Probably. This is a really cool Giants jacket. J. Cruz, update your payment when you get a chance. 
North Face, this is a really nice full zip jacket. You wanna sell and whatnot, learning from me right now? I'll try my best to teach you. Liliana, what's up? Champion Snow Pants Youth, size large, brand new. I will do that next week for you. Next week we'll do the back end fulfillment part. San Jose Sharks guys, uh, men's size large. This is a really nice hoodie. Nuts and Volts, nice pickup. Eddie Bauer up next. I, I Oh, here's the thing. Sometimes I get complaints, but I start everything at a dollar. So um, it's a little difficult because in order to offer everything at a dollar, you got to go fast. Lululemon leggings size two. Um, that being said, um, if I ship, it's not as nice as if the girls ship. This is a really cool jacket. I, I really like these pockets, the contrast pockets. Angela, thank you. Guys, this is like a uh, very, very bright uh, yellow. No requests. Yeah, they do great. They do great. All right, here we go. This is a really nice Nike dry fit hoodie, zip up jacket, size small. It's hard. Um, you gotta start. You gotta start the auctions at what you can afford to to price them at. Um, these are some really nice True Religion jeans. And no updates on eBay yet. Still waiting to hear back. I've never even seen one of these. Have you guys seen a Snapchat hoodie? Should I keep this? Tisket, that is that is wild. That's probably worth some money. Eddie Bauer, beautiful zip up jacket, men size extra large. <clears throat> Katrina, 1006, thank you. Guys, is this a thing? Kill City, it looks vintagey. Addison, I can't, but I can get to it quick. Peter Millar, 100% merino wool, V-neck sweater, brand new, $195, let's go. Yeah, we're going in order and we're going fast. North Face, are these convertible? Convertible short pants, these are awesome, my favorite. Fire indeed, nuts and bolts, thank you. Mickey Unlimited, this is a really cool tag. Katrina, nice pickup. Lauren Ralph Loran. This is a really cool furry women's coat. Nuts and Volts, nice pickup. This is a North Face Denali jacket in a brown poop colorway. <laughs> I, I, I did say the poo colorway, but poo is in. North Face back hit. Thank you, Tisket. This is the um, Banana Republic size medium pea coat in the cream colorway. Zion 23, nice pickup. We got Nordic Design up next. This is really nice wool. Appreciate everybody stopping by. This is really cool. Merino wool. Half zipped. Oh, I'm good. Feeling, I'm living the dream. North Face zip up hoodie, jacket size large. This is a banger. Guys, this is the Summit Series. I should have kept this. Size large, Summit Series, North Face. Men's size large. It's a banger. Good work. Men's size small, puffer vest. Really, really good condition. Half zip, nice pickup. You do bins every day and it's hell. J. Crew size large, ribbed mock turtleneck. I love my Squishmallow. Thank you so much for sending that. My daughter doesn't really get it, but I love it. North Face, zip up fleece. The Lucky Fox, thank you. You're gonna love that. This is a really nice Nano Puff. Nano Puff, Patagucci. Katrina, nice pickup. Giants, little baby giants. Michiana, nice pickup. North Face, hooded rain jacket, women's size extra large, in the teal colorway with the Volt logo. Very cute. Back hit. Grateful, Grateful Megan? Madewell jeans. High rise skinny size 26. Raham. Any feedback? No, looks good to me. Fashion wear N brand. Allen, nice pickup. Madewell jeans size 32, real woman size. Yes, you can take a look. Alley something. Appreciate you. Adidas zip up jacket size youth large. Appreciate you. Lucky Fox, nice pickup. Carhartt pocket tee, size extra large tall. That's how I do it. Liliana, thank you. Okay, Lauren Ralph Loren. This is a really nice puffer jacket. Petite large. Nice. I love it. Ellen Tracy. This is a really, really awesome coat. So I picked it up. Um, everything starts at a dollar. Mary is the best. Mary, I hope you use my coupon code. Uh, North Face. Jones, thank you for your purchase. Appreciate you. North Face zip up hooded jacket, women's size extra small. Very, very nice jacket. Jones, thank you. Lululemon tank size four. Closet, thank you. North Face, men's zip up. Fender Bam, appreciate your first purchase. Spider, let's go. Men's size medium, let's go. Let somebody get something cool. 
Okay. North Face drawstring pants. Tiscal, do you want it for two bucks? Okay. Urban Outfitters, guys. These are really, really cute. Jumpsuit, size medium, Urban Outfitters. Zion, that's a steal. This is a Madewell sweater, size extra small. Very cute. Shannon. Shannon, did you just... Shannon, you just got a really cool sweater for six bucks. Uniqlo, V-neck, Verena wool, sweater, size medium. It's $39.90 new. This is a very, very cool Harley Davidson leather jacket. Zion. And this current shipping does make sense for them, so it's kind of like the Poshmark deal. So I feel like it's a, it's a good move for them. Lacoste, size four. Katrina, nice pickup. Um, True Religion, size 29, guys. Brian, thank you for the purchase. Patagucci. Katrina, nice pickup, that's a steal. This Lululemon is um, also in excellent condition. The Lucky Fox. Lululemon says one size. I haven't seen this tag in a long time. Biscuit, nice pickup. This is a double extra large Giants. Magpie, nice $2 steal. Polo Ralph Lauren, long sleeve shirt, size medium. Dryer, nice pickup. Okay, this is a really nice jacket. This is a men's size large Mountain Hardware. Tisket, nice pickup. North Face Zip Up, youth size extra large, so this would definitely fit a women's small. Magpie, nice pickup. Lulu again. Archangel, thank you. Lululemon tank top size 10. Race, isn't Razorback this? This Razorback, right? Lulu again, size 6. Mean, nice pickup. Polo Ralph Lauren, men's sweater size medium. Biscuit, nice pickup. North Face Flea Zip Up Jacket, men's size large. Fender Band, nice pickup. Lululemon size six, starting at $1, let's go. So, this may have not been worn at all, so. Nice pickup. Beta Brand, as you guys know, in my opinion, is nicer quality than Lululemon, but what do you guys think? You let me know what you think. These are like $150 retail. Okay, North Face <clears throat> Denali Jacket. Jones, thank you. This Nike windbreaker has some stains on it. It's got a smudge on the shoulder. It's got a smudge right here. It's nice though. Probably would come out if you knew how to clean it. You think you're gonna be like who this year? Sorry, I'm not, it's hard to follow the conversation and run the show. Miko snow pants, guys. Size six. Here's the logo. Shot my world, thank you. Columbia. Wow, this is a nice piece. This is a really nice fleece, guys. You finally found a category that you can work hard and enjoy. This is a men's medium San Jose Sharks hoodie. Thrifty Braska. This is a Columbia vest size medium. This is a really nice one. You fix your payment. Um, I don't know. North Face jacket. This is a really, really nice um, jacket with the soft shell top and the fleece bottom. It's men's size extra large. Really, really, really good condition. Mainline, nice pickup. Champion. Sweatpants, size medium. Sudden death, guys. Timer does not restart. Original Barbie, thank you. Madewell, Cali Demi boot in the charcoal colorway. Original Barbie, thank you. San Jose Sharks, guys. Size extra large. Luna Lee, what's up? Okay, this is a really nice Timbaland. Mainline, nice pickup. This is a really nice Banana Republic shacket. Yeah, I used to live in New York City. A lot of people wore Timberlands. Um, and a lot of people wore Air Forces. And I, I like the Air Forces, but not the Timberlands so much. This is a Santa Cruz hoodie. Carita, but I'm not in the storage business. We move stuff here. Members only jacket, size large. This is really nice. Eight bucks for this jacket. North Face. Joy Math Mama had one in the 90s. 80s. Hopefully it's okay. Okay. This is on the Disney Parks tag. It's a really good tag. Michiana, thank you. Vans pullover hoodie, size large. How about Posh Live? Okay, guys, this is a cool vintage piece. Um, how do you guys like it? Do you like selling over there? Um, yeah, I don't know about Poshmark Live. If it's if it's good or not. I think it probably is good. This is a really cool lifted research group jacket. It's a nice puffer LRG jacket. Hopefully you resell for a hundred or you keep it because it was really nice. North Face, size large. This is really dope. Wow. 
Okay, I'm not gonna keep this jacket, but I am gonna model it for you guys. This is really nice. Um, rubber fox, or rubber toe. Um, thank you for your purchase. You're really gonna like this jacket. It's really nice. Jordan's up next. Sandia 38. San Francisco tourist jacket on the choice tag. It's a nice piece. What do you guys think? Is it more annoying if I hold it? Tisket. North Face, women's jacket size small. It does get tiring though, so it's nice to be able to switch it up. This is a really, really cool jacket. It is a Dudley's motorcycles jacket. It, let's see, it's like this thick canvasy material. It's a burn jacket, B-E-R-N-E. -E. Do you guys have a problem talking to yourself on the app? This is one of the nicer North Face pieces that I have. It's a Summit Series snowboarding coat. Magpie, nice steel. Plus size jacket, Ava Vive. Pretty fine boutique, that's a steal. North Face zip up jacket, women's medium. Really nice Denali jacket. Jones, nice pickup. True Religion hoodie, guys. Nice sweatshirt, size large. Um, or some people have connections and they get their, their clothes there. North Face women's fleece, size medium. Can I just, I have lots of Lululemon, but it's mixed in. North Face half zip pullover, men's size extra large. The logo's a little bit faded right there. Mix, you won the giveaway earlier. I think, hopefully you, you know, but. Calvin Klein. Creative Slug, thank you. Black rivet hooded zip up jacket. Really nice piece. Size large. As long as my assistant can get the work done, I'll be streaming every day but Saturday. San Francisco Giants hoodie. Michiana, nice pickup. Snow jacket for kids, size large. That's a nice piece. Rhea, thank you. Guys, this is a really cool shirt. It looks like Bobby Jones. What do you guys think? Rhea, nice pickup. SF Giants hoodie. Biscuit, thank you. SF Giants Letterman's jacket. Michiana, nice pickup. North Face Fleece Zip Up Youth Medium. Rhea, nice pickup. Madewell Gingham Blazer, size large. This is so nice. It's got pockets in the front. This is really cute, guys. Joy Math Mama says I should do a big show. What's a big show? Outdoor Voices, guys, is a very expensive brand, size large. This is a super cute hoodie. I think I could do um, 50 grand if I did 24 hours. Marmot, size extra small. Singles. Rhea, I can't believe you just got a marmot jacket for eight, for $6. That's crazy. This is a really nice jacket, really thick. Men's size 2XL, really good size. And the titanium version. Titanium, guys. C. Potter Jones. Lululemon legging size six. These are cute. There's the Lulu. It's like I like the Lulu that has the Lulu on the pill. It's nice. Versus just the logo. Where do you guys like it? It's more subtle on the ankle. Polo Ralph Lauren size medium. Rhea, nice pickup. 2010 on the all style tag. If you buy a hat, I'll sponsor a giveaway for you. North Face fleece size extra large. Really nice piece. Mainline, nice pickup. Michael Kors zip-up sweater, men's size large. This is a really cool um, sweater. It's got two pockets in the front. The un, un... Nice Disney tag here. Mainline, nice pickup. This is a very, very heavy soccer long coat from Adidas. This is really cool. It's really long. It's really nice. Is this a Lululemon cardigan? Jonna, that's a really good deal. Okay guys, I don't know what this is, but I picked it up because I thought it was cool. Um, it says Mexican textiles on it. I like it. C. Potter, nice pickup. Victoria's Secret, pink. Michiana, nice pickup. San Francisco Giants hoodie, guys. Michiana, nice pickup. Guys, honestly, I'm pretty excited about this. It's a Mountain Dew sweater that says do the do on the side. Um, I'm gonna be really angry if, if somebody doesn't buy this for a good price. Renovating life, nice pickup. Guys, this Carhartt vest is so dope. Thrifty-ish, thank you. Guys, this might be a crazy jacket. Um, so this is the, this is a California Mille participant jacket made by Hunziker. Long coat with a belt. Oakland A's hoodie, or er, um, windbreaker, guys. Michiana, nice steal. Gap Kids puffer jacket, guys. Susu, nice pickup. It's an army field coat. I think this is army. Lunally, nice pickup. Hey, Adidas. Drifty Braska, thank you. 
Patagonia size small men's jacket. This one's really nice. JC, nice pickup. Lululemon shorts up next, guys. Whip alive, nice pickup. All right, guys, you ready? CC Filson, the brand I always talk about. Number one sell through rate. Whip alive, nice pickup. Trespass snow pants, size medium. The in hoops. Champion Columbia shirt. Teacher's college. ML777, appreciate your first purchase from me. Guys, I am not familiar with this guy. Is his name screenshot? What is the significance of this bear? And why does he look like that? Mainline, thank you. Jam Couture Pants, 30. Maybe somebody knows, I don't know. Picked it up anyway. Tisket, nice pickup. Oregon Ducks, not beavers. Should have kept this one. This is a really heavy canvas jacket, guys. Mainline, nice pickup. Mickey Mouse, let's go. Flip a life is saying sell the car hard for at least 100. Mainline, thank you. Guys, this is a awesome Kuji sweater. Guys, I would ask at least 200 for this. Brian, always picking up the fire stuff. Nike drawstring short size medium. Burgundy, really nice. I know, Filson and Kuji are hard to, hard to follow up, but it is what it is. Okay, Yankees up next. Thank you for your purchase. Men's size extra large, R North Face. Sandia, nice pickup. Madewell. Clothery, nice pickup. Uniqlo. Trench coat. Tisket, nice steel. Orvis pullover sweater, women's size medium. Mainline, nice pickup. This is a really sweet Abercrombie and Fitch jacket. It's quilted. Clothery, nice pickup. Athleta, size extra small. Pretty Finds Boutique, nice pickup. This is a really funny jacket. So this Levi's jacket was bedazzled. I thought we canceled Gucci. AB02, you're gonna love it. This is a really nice vest, guys. Marmot Puffer Vest, men's size large. Really, really nice piece. Jeff Med, nice pickup. Lululemon Legging, size six. Let's take the logo. Jonah, nice pickup. Lululemon, Lulu, I said Lulu Lemmings. Lululemon leggings, size too tall. Nice piece. North Face zip up jacket, men's medium. Fleece, full zip, no hood, but really good condition. Nice pickup, Jonah. Travis Matthew vest, size medium, really good golf brand. Really, really nice golf vest. Kitty Cat, number five, thank you. Victoria's Secret hoodie pullover, women's medium. Fleece lined with the crazy camo pink in the back. Guys, this is a nice piece. Deanne Hoops, thank you. Okay, I think we got it. That might be everything. All right, guys, so this is my conclusion for week number two. So, so far, um, I've done $4,684 profit over the first two weeks. So that's a little over $2,000 per week now. This is including both what I have done myself and also with my staff and all the expenses backed out. So this is really important because I don't think there's a lot of YouTubers who track literally everything, but rent, administrative, mileage, all of that this year so far has been $913.50. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm dividing my monthly rent by 4.3 for each week so that you can get that number. I'm keeping track of my mileage by week. I'm keeping track of everything to get a, a good idea of what I'm actually profiting after everything. So what's interesting is that about 80% of the profit comes from just me running my own show on Fridays, which is very interesting. But it is profitable with my staff, but I wanna go over a couple of things which is really interesting. Um, when I run my own auctions on whatnot, I'm averaging between eight and $14 profit per item on average. So depending on the mix of the items that I'm actually doing, but it looks like I can be conservative and take the lower number and just say that I'm making $8 per item when I sell an item. Now contrast that with my staff, so far, the first two weeks of the year, I've been making an average of $2.17 per item, which is actually very slim. So there's not a lot of room for error when you only make $2 profit per item. So it's something that I'm sort of really looking at because before you take on any additional expenses, you have to think about um, the marginal cost of each item and how that goes up. So if I were to example, get a bigger space, which is what I'm looking for, I have to weigh a couple of things. One, it's actually pretty hard to get the space that I have now. Um, space is actually pretty high in demand. E-commerce is really on fire. And in Oakland, California, where I live, 
cannabis is on fire. So about 90% of the available space goes to weed, which is crazy to me because it seems like there's a dispensary on every single corner, but there are more and more and more still op still opening. So it seems like maybe the business to be in in this area is weed just because there's just so many people buying it here that all the available space is actually being converted into what they call green space, which is set up for medical marijuana use, which is very interesting. So obviously they have more powerful power, better security. They can charge more as a landlord. So very interesting in my area what's going on. So e-commerce is hot. So all the available spaces are being taken. So I have to weigh the risk of taking on a new expense and how that affects the bottom line because I'm not working with a lot of profit here. $8 by myself and $2 with staff. When you back out all the expenses, I, this actually makes me think that a lot of resale businesses are not profitable because I'm looking about at these numbers like constantly and it's still like barely profitable. So I'm hoping you guys out there listening right now really take this seriously because there's a lot to do and hopefully you, you like this type of transparency in my video. So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next week.